Hello guys and welcome to Arizona Adventure Park. This is going to be our last episode in the Safari Zone. As the Safari Zone is finished, as you can see, I put down many plants around here so that we filled in all the gaps. I also flattened the island and uh, did some foliage on it in the center of our lake just because I didn't want the island to block the view for our elephant house and our flamingo aviary on the other side of the lake. Um, yeah, some um, pretty crazy shit was happening um, as I started to record this episode. I didn't show you that. Um, I cut that out or um, I started new because I had some guys, five of them, running from this part of the park across the lake through the flamingo aviary through the restaurant and through every single other building um, just so that they could reach the monorail station and take a tour with the monorail well that was weird okay but um, that's not what's happening right now um, before we get started um, I can see that many of you guys watch my videos and uh, presumably like them. I would love if you like my videos that you hit the like button. Um, just because that helps to spread my channel around a little more and make it grow a little more. And many more people will be able to see my videos just because of the algorithm of YouTube. So if you like the videos, hit the like button. And if you really like them and really love them, just subscribe to my channel. That would help me a lot. Thank you very much. But now let's get started. Yeah, um, we finished the train station. I did some changes to the tracks. Um, the, tra uh, the whole ride might take about 15 minutes or something like that because I have some very steep areas in there, um, which means the train will take some time to get up there. Um, people already love the train tour. Well, love is a um, little much said. They like it because they are waiting here for the train to arrive already. Um, yeah, I did change some things, as I said, because I was not happy with the tracks uh, going outside of the habitat of the white rhinos and um, of the... Latchway, have the Nile Latchway. So um, I changed some things, but you you will see that when we take the tour. And um, yeah, just hit the play button and wait till the train arrives, which might be the case in a minute. And as we are going up some hills, which might take some time, we can talk about where this whole zoo is going to in the future and what are my plans for that and also afterwards when we finish the zoo. Yeah, so train, where are you? That's the monorail over there in the background. So let's float a little bit in the air and have a look where the train is right now. I guess it might be here in the tunnel somewhere. Oh no, here. Can you see the smoke? It's right here. Yeah, it had to come up that hill and now it is going down that hill which might go a little bit faster why is it so slow no now it's going faster so it's going through the tunnel around our restaurant here and then it is going to arrive at the station um, before that is happening um, you can see right here the area where uh, the next part is going to happen. 
So if you might see some empty spaces when we are coming back into the station uh, of the safari train, um, there's going to be some changes around there because the safari train will also pass our new zone, which will be the world of the monkeys or the world of the apes, whatever you might call it. And here you can already see the train is incoming. And as, uh, as I said, the, the world of the monkeys, the world of the apes is going to be the last part of this zoo because this zoo has become so big and we have slight performance issues here. So, um, yeah, that are not going to be possible to let it grow more. Okay, guys, did you enjoy the ride? I hope you did. Mister, won't you get out of the train? Or are you taking a second tour? Okay, everybody has left the train. It's time for us to take a seat. Um, nope. So we are going to sit on the right side and Number three or number four? We're going to sit in number four. Yeah, I like number four. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Let's get back into it. Just close that window. So the tour is starting. I hope you guys are ready. Here on the left side, we have our staff buildings. And on the right side, you can already see our elephant house. You can have a slight glimpse into it, but you can't see too much of it. Um, this is one part that is taking very long because we are going up that hill. And um, somehow I don't know, but maybe Francia could fix that in the future, that the train is going up the hills a little bit faster because this is very, very, very slow and takes a lot of time. Yeah, as I said, the world of the monkeys is going to be the last part of this zoo that I'm going to build. I have, um, yeah, I have some big plans for it because I want to go out with a big bang again. Uh, something like the Big Bang we had with the Elephant House. So I want to make a very cool and exciting area there. But let's have a look at our animals here in the big savanna. We have an ostrich looking right at us. Yeah, exactly right here, Mr. or Mrs. or child. We have an elephant in the background that is taking a bath at our pool and we also have an antelope right there and could you put down your arm please keep your arms inside the train yeah and there's also an african buffalo around here oh look there's more elephants this might be the big bull that is standing on the right side yeah, and I love the background here. I hate this guy. Could you just leave your arm inside? Oh my god. Yeah, some more of the buffaloes. Some babies as well. And now we're going around a little bit faster. Just have a last look at our animals. Is some more antelopes, antelopes, antelopes. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's a pretty big habitat. Here on the back side of the habitat where we are going along right now, uh, animals don't come that often, but yeah, this antelope is coming over here. Maybe she needs a little quiet place. Yeah, and we are going through some kind of a gate here and entering the next habitat which is going to be the habitat for the sable antelope you already could see we have some babies in here 
yeah here's one baby with the adult male and two females it's a very simple habitat but as well very effective and I like the background when you can see the actual um, house of the elephants here oh and here we are we have the Bactrian camels in the right size because this got fixed um, not that much long ago from Francia and I'm very happy about it it looks much more realistic now we also have the Chewalski horse in here so finally it's the correct size and I'm very very happy it looks so so good uh, now okay and we are going up again and we don't look at the right side to see that the back side of this building is not really finished and we missed some building parts right here don't know how that could happen but um, yeah we're looking at the left side at the beautiful background here with the mountains and the rocks and yeah and also this guy here um, yeah that should have neck surgery I guess because that doesn't look that healthy ouch okay um, yeah <laughs> never mind okay I think we are entering our next habitat right now that is going to be yeah the African wild dog and here you can see one of the guys I don't know if we have babies in here as well oh here's someone in the bushes as well could you see it yeah that's it not much more to see in here so we are entering the next habitat and we are once again going up a hill running up that hill um, yeah Kate Bush uh, very huge success again after I don't know um, 30 or no might be 40 years um, uh, that the song was released after fourth season of Stranger Things was released um, yeah so but we're not talking about TV or Netflix right now um, we are here at the habitat for the Nayala also some babies in here and as you can see that is something that is pretty sad we have some performance issues um, because the animals do look a little bit pixely and that is uh, yeah not that cute but I hope we can live with that for this tour um, and it's just to give you a little bit overview of how the park is looking so we're going down that hill again very fast and we are coming across our next big habitat which is the co-joint habitat from the um, from the zebra and also from the gamsbok and I don't know why because uh, my zebras always get stuck on this rock over here and they seem to not uh, be able to come down that rock yeah and the next one is going up there which is looking <laughs> very awkward yeah and it is on the rock again okay so never mind um, here we have some springbok some wildebeest and also giraffes and we have a baby giraffe and maybe we can see in the background the hyena yeah I saw one very little very small and we have a giraffe right over here close to our train having some snacks from the feeder yeah that's pretty cool I really do like that so why are we not moving yeah it's going a little bit slow right now again we also do have some wild beast babies in here and a giraffe coming across our train right now this this view is beautiful 
and I really would love to take a tour like this in a real zoo. Okay, we reached that hill and we are going into the next habitat, which is going to be... What's it going to be? I think it's the habitat of... Yeah, it's the rhinos and the gazelle. So we have one rhino laying right here. We have one on the right side and one lying right close to the train. It's getting up right now. Yeah, and there's also baby gazelle right here. And there's one coming out of the house. Yeah, the house usually was planned for the rhinos, but the rhinos don't use it, um, even though they could enter it. Um, but yeah. And here on the right side, we have the habitat for the Nile Ledgeway. I changed it a lot and made it a lot smaller. And as you can see, I made the train go through the habitat. And now it looks way better and way more enjoyable. Yeah, and once again, we are going up a hill. And um, yeah, I told you I was, uh, I was telling you about what is going to be next after the yeah after Arizona Adventure Park is finished so I was thinking about some kind of an Australian zoo because I built some Australian habitats in Swamp Lake Zoo and I really enjoyed building them and I also really enjoyed the foliage the eucalyptus and uh, the ghost um, the ghost tree and whatever trees and foliage is in there for the Australian region and so I was thinking about doing something like that for our next project after we finished Arizona Adventure Park and maybe we could find some people that like to do a real tour through Arizona Adventure Park people that are not me so that you have another perspective to the park thinking about uh, the lady signer or something like that. Yeah, so Warthogs, which was the last habitat that we were crossing and going through the tunnel right here and around our safari restaurant. And on the left side, we might catch a glimpse of the small world that is around here with the European Badger and we do have the yeah the red panda in there I'm going around the restaurant right here and then coming back into the train station okay so guys this was our train tour through the safari zone I hope you really enjoyed it I hope you like what we built in this area which is very very beautiful um, in my opinion if you like the video if you like the video if you liked the tour and if you like the whole part of this beautiful area right here just leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. And in the next episode, we are going to build the world of the monkeys all around here. I'm not quite sure if we're going to have another tour in here, but um, yeah, we're going to see in the future. So, um, Thanks Kai for watching and I hope you have a great day and to see you in the next videos. Bye.